The city is offering a $15,000 signing bonus for new officers in hopes of reaching its goal of 2,500 officers and to make Memphis safer. In an effort to aggressively recruit, rebuild, and compete with other cities, the city of Memphis is using cash incentives to attract more people to consider joining the Memphis Police Department. Mayor Jim Strickland announced Monday the city is offering a $15,000 sign-on bonus for MPD recruits. Chris Allen is the Public Safety Recruitment Supervisor. $15,000 if they sign up and come to the academy. Um, now, obviously, that will be broken down into increments, but they are eligible to receive it upon entrance into the academy. There's also up to $10,000 in relocation assistance and an increased starting salary of more than $45,600 and other bonuses. Those candidates that do not live in the city of Memphis or specifically in the Shelby County area are eligible to receive up to $10,000 in relocation bonus. Um, or excuse me, relocation assistance. The city is hoping to have a police department of about 2,500 officers. Right now, that number sits around 2,100. Lieutenant Alvin Davis, a MPD recruiter, says this also comes at a time when many people have decided to leave the workforce during the COVID pandemic. Sometime, you know, with this whole COVID thing, money has become an issue for a lot of people. So that will be one assistance to help you with that, to get you back on your feet, get you back on the track or wherever you may be, you know, financially in your life right now. John Covington is the Memphis Police Association Chief Steward and a Memphis Police Department officer. Uh, I think it's great news, uh, a, a step in the right direction. This is a time of uh, great competition for police officers. And, uh, you know, we want to get up to the, uh, the numbers we need to be. He says the signing bonus is not only a way to recruit, but also to keep officers on the force. It has a ripple effect. It's not just about bringing in recruits and having more officers, but it creates the opportunity for promotions too. And that keeps people on the back end, you know, the retention aspect of being able to make a career. Now, applicants must have a high school diploma or an equivalent, as well as 24 semester hours from an accredited college or two years of relevant work experience or active or reserve military experience from the class.